Hey, it's me, Tommy. So if you've been following all the news with the GH5, you've probably run into the hack or the improvement of autofocus with the GH5. Uh, it's Yoda Yo's video, his original idea. If you want to see how he did it, there's a link to that video in the description of this one. I'm not going to read you that whole video and explain that concept to you. What I am going to do is test it with the GH5 using the Viltrox speed booster and a Sigma 18 to 35 because I have not seen that test on here yet. So here we go. So right now I'm at f1.2 with a shutter speed of 1 80th of a second, filming at 30 frames per second. So that is beyond the 180 degree shutter angle. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a test while you listen to whatever background music I picked. Now what I imagine people would normally do is just kind of be in one spot, maybe lean forward and backward a little bit. Again, I'm on face tracking mode. We're as wide as it gets now. Now we're all the way zoomed in here, 35 millimeters. So I went ahead and stopped it down a little bit. We're now at F2 with uh, 1 80th of a second shutter speed still. Uh, 30 frames per second. Let's uh, see how it does. Still in face tracking mode. All right, well, we're still at F2, but now we're in single point mode uh, with 1 80th of a second shutter speed. And I have it right in the very center of the screen, right here.
so just like before, uh, when I tested the Sigma on the adapters, it doesn't look like the autofocus is great. Even though it's twice as fast, it is still adapted glass, it's not native. And it's just, it, you're not going to get the performance of autofocus that you would expect out of native glass. Um, is it usable? Kind of. I mean, you saw what I saw with these results. Uh, if your subject's just sitting still, um, I mean, even with me just sitting here talking to you, I did see it like hunt a couple times, especially when I was on face tracking. Um, so, you know, it's, it's your call. I, I don't think it's great. I don't think I'll be using this lens with autofocus at all. Thanks for watching. If uh, you enjoyed the content and you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions or you want me to test anything specifically, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do so. Have a great night. Or day, I guess, if you're watching this like in the middle of the day.